commencing in three, two, one. Hey guys, I'm Mandy W26 again, and oh gosh, we are having a hot summer, aren't we? It is 95 out right now, and I am blistering hot. Right now, after I'm done taking a walk, I'm going to attempt to start getting some more review footage put up. As of the moment, the new version of Ascension is up with the spelling mistakes all fixed now, thank God. How do I spell Ascension wrong? Ah, anyways. And um, besides that, right now I'm working on the Limbo of the Lost Let's Play. You guys are going to love this, don't worry. I am working on the Cutthroat Island video. Unfortunately, right now we can't get any of the footage shot, but I'm currently playing through the game. Ooh. And recording footage, writing up the script, things like that. So hopefully I can have that up relatively soon. Once I get the footage shot with my friends, we should be all good. The other things I'm actually working on at the moment is a new Hidden Gems video and another Let's Play after that. The Hidden Gems I want to do is... Oh, I'll leave that one for you guys later. But what I want to do for my next Let's Play after I do the Limbo of the Lost is this little game I found called Obsidian. And Obsidian is a blast. You guys, you guys have probably played Mist or something relatively close to Mist. This game is Mist if all the characters were extremely interesting and the entire game just kept throwing me in a loop. The entire about uh, first two discs of Obsidian is the entire game just trying to tell you to screw off. The concept of the game is the further in you get, the less you actually get done, and it's really, really interesting once you get further into it. I'd love to do a Let's Play of the game. It's somewhat hard to find and pretty obscure. Um, I think a company called Sega Soft worked on it. No, it wasn't Sega. It was a company called Sega Soft, not the same ones. Very, very interesting. I'll have to show you guys it at some point. <laughs> As for things I have been doing recently, I have a PS3 now, yeah. You know, uh, after this thing, I thought this would be enough of a distraction, you know, with all the games I have on this. I got the new Decidue on it, I played that third birthday thing that's not a sequel to Parasite even anyway. Oh, let me talk about that quick, alright? <laughs> third birthday is... Oh my gosh, the, sa the same guy that wrote the script for uh, Decidue and Final Fantasy X also wrote this game, if that tells you anything. The third birthday has nothing to do with Parasite Eve until about the last ten minutes of the game. I'm not even kidding. It's its own story, and the entire game is just trying to whore eye out. It's incredibly stupid. There's... Spoiler alerts. There's something about Time Zero back when uh, Io was originally killed, and the uh, girl who's a clone of her from Parasite Eve 2, Eve... Um, Eve uh, swapped bodies with Aya to prevent Aya's body from being killed and this technically killed Aya. Something stupid like that. So now you have uh, the soul of an eight-year-old girl pretty much going around hoing herself in a cheetogasm and a maid's outfit. I mean, take that one how you will. And, I mean, don't get me wrong, the game is pretty good. It plays all right, you know. Uh, it's it's a third-person shooter fair. You get to um, do what's called a, a dive in enemies, overdiving. And it actually works very well. It lets you set up a lot of strategic points, and some of the bosses cannot be defeated unless you uh, position all your soldiers behind cover and blast at them. Um, the, the amount of weapons and the customizations are really good. Unfortunately, I feel that I, I, they, they keep adding new features as you keep going. You know, there's a DNA sequence board that you can use to add new abilities and everything. Tons of weapon customization. Um, incentive for going through and playing it again. But the game wants you to beat it ten times in order to get some of the cheats and extra costumes. And it, it seems a little redundant to go through the game ten times, especially on the harder difficulties. The game's actually pretty tough. Um, I started playing it on hard, and the game's challenging, to say the least. Um, I mean, if you need a pretty good PSP game on the go, Third Birthday works. Just don't try to relate it to Parasite Eve in any way. Story-wise, it's a total mess. Oh, my gosh. And the funny thing is, is a lot of people didn't like Parasite Eve 2, you know, in that regard, with how it changed up the story and everything. And uh, I just want the original writer back, you know? And I know, I know, it's based off a book. And but, but, I mean... Back then, Square Enix, you know, it was, I mean, Square Soft, sorry, Whew, let's not confuse them. Square Soft, you know, they used to do the most incredible things. Let's look at, you know, Chrono Cross, Chrono Trigger, 
freaking uh, the older Final Fantasies. Final Fantasy VI was always my favorite one, in my opinion. Um, your mileage may vary. And, I mean, th there's still some good games coming out. Like, I really like Decidia. All right, I, I know. It's, it's, it's the fanboy's answer to, you know, uh, well, what if I was Cloud and I decided I just wanted to kick the shit out of x -Def? Um, and, you know, it plays very well. It's got a lot of incentive to just keep going and going at it. Always giving you new stuff to play with. It's really, really good. And, um, I mean, the reduced price on PSP games now, because the Vita's going to be coming out soon, is a nice plus. So you can pick it up for, like, 20, 30 bucks. And you'll be spending a lot of time on it. Lots. The only thing I was kind of hoping for is that they put um, actual online play on this. But now that I have a PS3, I can go online play with people um oh the quest system the quest system is really neat and decidue it allows you to go and make your own story quests and you can even get items out of doing this which is you know really really neat the movie maker's back it's still pretty difficult to use the new characters uh, well lightning is all right you know as a new character goes she plays fairly decently um, the ability to keep switching back and forth from the Paradigm ships is kind of neat and works better than it did in 13. Uh, let's see, Laguna is probably my favorite new character to play as, besides Prish. Oh my gosh, Prish! Mmm. Prish kicks too much ass. Uh, her X gauge fills up faster than everyone else's, and her combos when she's in X mode can keep linking into her other combos, and it, it's painful. It really hurts. None of that is nearly as cheap as Feral Chaos. I have not beaten Decidji yet, because the end of the game sees Worthy to pitch you against Feral Chaos. And uh, Confessions of the Creator, the very last boss, is a very, very cheap version of Chaos, who has all new moves, has 53,000, no, 530,000 health, which is unprecedented. How much health can you have, Max? 9,999, usually. I think you can go higher and uh, do Decim, but... Oh, he has that. He has an insta-kill move, and oh, um, when you're halfway through the story, you have to fight another one, and that one has uh, 250,000 health. But this one didn't have... Uh, but that one didn't have an assist. This one has an assist, and the assist is lined up perfect with your dodging. As soon as your dodge move is done, bam! Garland's out there to kick your ass. It's challenging. Oh my gosh, I don't want to beat it. I don't. Mm -mm. <clears throat> but from what I've heard, if you do beat it, you get Feral Cast. Anyways, completely off topic. Just some of the games I've been playing recently. Uh, I beat L.A. Noir. Very, very good game. I highly recommend at least renting it. Fantastic. The detective work is great. The voice acting is... Oh my gosh. I have not played a game that has had as crisp and clear voice acting as I had in that game. It is beautiful. Um, uh, Angry Joe's review of the game. He put it best when he said, I could not find one poor performance in the game. It was spot on the entire game. Uh, unlike him, though, I liked the ending. The ending worked. It was, you know, the whole sack... It, uh, no. Uh, you know what? Won't spoil that. Don't want to spoil that. Really good. Let's see. Um, and since I have a PS3... I've been doing the three games I had to own when I had a PS3. That was Metal Gear Solid 4, Heavy Rain, and Demon Souls. Beat Metal Gear Solid 4, very good. Beat um, Heavy Rain, I loved Heavy Rain. That, but that game is another, you know, your mileage may vary. There are a lot of people I know who can't stand it. And Demon Souls, very challenging, but I'm getting near the end of the game. Uh, right now I'm running around with my favorite weapon, the Sword of Searching. Very fun. Um, for PS3 games... Oh, I'm playing Assassin's Creed 2. Uh, the Steam sale went on, so a friend got me Assassin's Creed 2 and Brotherhood. Very fun. <sighs> well, I think that's about it for games. Back to updates. Endless Chaos. Yeah, yeah, I know. Not a lot of people liked Endless Chaos. I'm, I'm fully aware of it. It was a little April Fool's joke I wanted to make. The initial premise of Endless Chaos was it was going to be a 2D remake of, in RPG Maker 2003 of Bloodwing's Pumpkinhead's Revenge. It was what I wanted to do as an April Fool's joke, but then I was, I was making the levels, I was like, wow, this is going to be pretty complex. 
So I took a lot of what I did make in the levels and made it its own level. And then what I did after that was Endless Chaos got created with the other three levels that are in the game. I want to keep adding more to the game. I really do. I want to make it so it's easier to play, um, uh, more customization of things to do, more levels, more secrets, things like that. That's what the version 2.0 is for. And it, it was a fun project to work on. I'll give it that. It took me about four months to work on it. In the time I've been in Job Corps, it, oh, I got delayed to no end. Mm. But besides that, I hope you guys enjoyed Endless Cast. The website's actually going to get updated soon. The update will have... Um, yeah, wow, I'm forgetting everything. The update will have the walkthrough of the game for everyone who wants to go through and, you know, find all the secrets, get all the items, things like that. Tons of secrets I've put in that game. It'll have a walkthrough. Uh, I might do a video walkthrough of it later, if you guys would prefer. And pretty much it right now. I might be doing an updated version of the game that has even more content in it, if you guys are up to it. <laughs> the minecart level has been killing everyone, it sounds like. I had people test the game out at Job Corps, and uh, everyone was telling me, you can't beat the minecart level. I was like, yeah, I can. I beat it five times. Like, how the hell did you beat it? And, you know, the obvious answer, I made it. I'm like, well, that's not enough. This thing's impossible. There's no way you can do it. It's like, okay, okay, okay. I'll just make an easy mode. It'll make it, you know, you, this secret will be a lot harder to get on the easy mode, but, you know, it's easier. <laughs> and people preferred that over the impossibly hard version of it. Um, what else have I been working on lately? Hmm. I'm trying to think. Oh, I uh, plan on having a live stream later on this week. I probably just want to play some games, talk about some projects I'm working on, all that fun stuff. So if you'd like, I'll probably put up an announcement video later for it. For the entire week, I want this week to be about you guys. It's been Everything's just been off the wall at Job Corps, you know, with most all my time being spent on everything they want done, and, you know, that's obviously it. It's a job center. But I have a lot of things planned, lots of things planned. And once I finally get, you know, settled down out of Job Corps, I'm pretty much more than halfway complete with it right now. I plan on spending a lot of time just sitting down, reviewing games with you guys, having a bucket load of fun, and that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoy the later projects I'll be working on, and I'll see you later. I'm MendyW26, signing out.